I'm Alexa. I this I'm a TV presenter and I can't do this. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Alexa. No, I can't say my name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alexa. The person, not the robot machine that lives in your house. And I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup every day. First things first, I like to brush my hair. So I have a shower. I have to wash my hair every day because uh, it's very fine and um, it just gets really greasy. So every day I wash it and condition it. And then it's a little bit of brushing with literally my dream hair brush, which is a Harry Josh Pro Tools. Mainly, let's face it, it's a beautiful pistachio color. So that looks nice in the bag. Um, but also it's one of the only hair brushes that doesn't get stuck on my head. Because usually it's like this. But this one just uh, can't hear a thing. Beautiful. I'll give it a shake. I do this in the end, just a little bit. Okay, this is how the hair is done. We're twisting these bits, putting them behind my quite sizable ears. Before we start, let's just, here's a little pop quiz. What do we think this red mark is here? Because I, I feel maybe I've slept on this ring like this. So was I, was I woe betide in my sleep like this? Oh, like a Victorian person. I don't know, but either way, the older you get, you wake up and you have either pillow creases down your face or just something new has sprung up. So look forward to your future because 35 is. I'm obsessed with moisturizing and um, this is not a product placement. This is genuinely the best moisturizer I've ever met. It's called The Cream by Augustinus Bader. All you need to know is you put it on the head and you literally look younger, fresher, and uh, well hydrated, which um, <laughs> is not true this morning. Anyway, so here we go. Down the neck, don't forget the neck. I only just found out about the neck from watching one of these videos. So yeah, just that really, onto the face. I'm gonna start with the, with the eyelash curl. Have you ever done this in front of a boy? They freak out. They're like, what the, what? The contraption. Okay, so here's another thing. I have very, um, very delicate eyelashes. So I have to do this about a thousand times. Next up, this, which Lucas Pawpaw ointment. Um, I remember when I discovered this in Australia, like in the olden days, and I felt like I was gonna be the one to import it to the rest of the world. Cause I was like, this is magical mouth serum. Um, and then I returned home only to realize everyone already knew about it. On my dry, dry mouth. Also, can you see this? I have a recurring spot there and there, and they just come back every now and again. So now I've got the scar of the last time. The first cut is the deepest. So this guy as well is just really nice as a travel companion. Nice for planes. I kind of rub it on my hands and just smush it in. And anywhere else, like cuticles, sometimes I have, sorry guys, psoriasis. <laughs> And I put it on that guy. I actually love him. Thank you for your service. Okay, let's start covering some of this nonsense up and check the hair. I think it's gonna dry very flat today. It depends on the type of water and we're in Paris, France, so. Okay, this brand I love called RMS, so nice. I don't know, it's just kind of the dream texture because it's coverage that is, how do you talk about makeup? I don't know, whatever, it's good. I don't know how to use brushes, so I don't. <laughs> I also have another one. I think it's by, oh yeah, Le Mer. And I love it, it's so nice. I'm just worried that it's like the wrong color right now because I'm very pale. I haven't seen the sun since August 2000. And 18. She works hard. I wish I was a swimwear model. They're like always somewhere nice. It's good motivation for the old Pilates, isn't it? Oh, let's not forget my red friend up here. Do you think it's from frowning? Do you think I was just frowning in my sleep? 
So I actually forgot to bring on this trip um, an eyebrow thing. So I'm gonna hack this one and use a toothbrush and just brush those guys up. I spent years growing these back after some 90s over plucking. I also, when I have my makeup done, if I'm lucky enough to, they have to hand me the brush because this is one of my favorite things to do. I find it really therapeutic. It's very relaxing. So I am a magpie for pretty colored things. And I love this, which is a Dior backstage glow face palette, which I believe is meant to be for like highlighting your face, cheeks, etc. I don't understand how to do that, contour or whatever, or highlight, blah, blah, blah. So I just thought it was really nice. And I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to get my makeup done on photo shoots and I tried lots of different things and I often looked bad in too much stuff and I've always just preferred a more natural look. So I love browns and, you know, clumpy eyelashes or I guess all my beauty icons are either actual men or <laughs> women that were famed for not really wearing too much makeup. So yeah, Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger did wear makeup though in performance and he looked really good. But yeah, I'm more of a hair guy. <laughs> um, another makeup artist told me that you're meant to well, I was like, why does this look nice? Why are you better at making me look nice? And it's because she puts the little highlights in the corner here. She'd probably use a different brush for that. But as I say, I'm a novice. Learner pack, starter pack. The other thing that it's doing is it's making my small eye look even smaller and my big eye look even bigger because I'm looking over here. It's either really short bob, middle bob, which is what we're in right now, and then as soon as it gets a bit too long, then I have to put the fringe in. So then it's the long with the fringe and back to square one again. Okay, do you see how it's drying as we speak? I'm gonna do an eyeliner before mascara because I find it easier to get close to the lash root. So my friend Fifi at work calls this perfect makeup. So if I come to the office every day, I live around the corner from our studio. So I just walk to work usually with wet hair and like they have to deal with the no makeup thing. If we have meetings or someone's coming in or la la la, I go, <gasps> quick, perfect makeup. Perfect makeup. Yeah, so with the eyeliner, it's for me easier to start on the outsides and then fill in the rest of it because it's that angle which gives you the perfect cat eye. So my guide for it is to follow the bottom of your eye up. So it's kind of just like an extension of that and that's your marker. Other people do things like measuring degrees or things that seem quite mathematical, but I just figure you're going for something that's like up and out. So that's the marker and you have to test if they're level. Sometimes I put my head up because then it's easier. Yeah. I once went to a party where they asked me if it was tattooed onto my face. She was like, oh, you're not wearing black eyeliner. And I was like, no, and she was like, I genuinely thought you had that tattooed. And that's when I started giving it up. So I'm not gonna go all the way in because sometimes then when you live, <laughs> it's sort of transfers to the bottom. And then that's when you get like the black eyeliner down here. I think probably stopping around there on the eyeball. Can you tell how integral the hair is to the look? Okay, my favorite mascara, Glossier Lash Slick, uh, because it's like quite light. And so if it's been a long day and you go to bed without washing your face, which I hear is a big no-no, but um, it doesn't like give you the kind of Robert Smith from The Cure look in the morning because it just stays where it is or kind of disappears. It literally turns into a pumpkin. I don't know what happens, it just goes somewhere. I do wash my face by the way. 
I know how you're meant to put mascara on and I still don't do it. You're meant to be like this and get really in the lash root, blah, blah, blah. But it just makes you feel a bit sick, so. I'll stick with this way, thank you. These eye bags aren't going anywhere, are they? Here's some blusher that I got. <laughs> this is Laura Mercier in Praline. 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 And I love it because it's kind of just a warm tone. It's quite natural. And it's also a cream blusher, which I really like because too much powder. I don't know, I feel like you're getting more wrinkly the more powder you put on your face. That is not a fact. I just feel like that. Mm. This is my third concealer, sorry. <laughs> Also, what a freak. I've got three concealers and <laughs> no eyeshadows. This is a Shiseido brush that just feels really nice. Anyway, I think these colors are nice. So peachy and warm. It's a powder. I'm going off piste. Get on this. Just live in it. Lips, last stage, it's the final countdown. This is my favorite lipstick. It's called Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. And it's like my lip color, but nicer. So thank you, Charlotte. Sorry about the hair there. It didn't really ever recover. <laughs> um, if the hair doesn't recover and it's not looking good, then I guess you just have to wow people with your sparkling personality top beauty tip. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. That was it.